Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. So, we are going into Mount Gondor's mouth. We're gonna save what's your face, Monica. We come here, we're gonna use that thing we got from. Uh. Not Pasnos. But from. There it is. That guy that had a giant peace pipe. Mocha. That's what we're using. Well, that. Moses up the lava. And uh, before we cross it, we're going to make sure we take a picture. Okay, there we go. Uh, picture. Lava Road. Fallen Battleship as well is another scoop. Um, I don't think either of those two are missable. I think you can always come back for both the lava and the road. Uh, additionally, I want to check... Oops. Now one thing here on the ride pod, and that is that I want to repair that. Okay, we're good. I'll do it every time. I don't think this is the last time. <laughs> Did he really need to jump that distance? So, Gaspard is super easy when Max fights him, because you get to use the Ride Pod instead. Uh, oops. Let me repair the Ride Pod with some fuel. Oh, I only have one tank. I gotta be more careful. But if you just kind of circle around him... Take him out pretty easy. But that's not all. I'm sorry. I mean, skip that one. To give up, boy. I won't forgive what you've done. You say you won't forgive what I've done. But why? You're chasing after my mother. You'll hurt her if I don't stop you. Your mother. You fight to protect your mother. Ha! How juvenile. But <laughs> you know, I used to be that way too. Little baby Max wants his mommy. Huh? I had a mother too. Just like everyone else. <laughs> God damn it, Monica. So Useless. You hate me too, eh? Well, it's only natural, since I'm your father's sworn enemy. He sounded so sad during the first half of that line. <laughs> so you hate me too, eh? <laughs> We're the same, you and I. Exactly the same. What are you talking about? We're nothing like you! I just wanted to protect my mother too. Just like you two. I was a loathsome child, born to a changeling father and a human mother. The humans called me Demon Child. Despite that, my parents and I were able to live. Does he really need a tragic backstory? Can we not just have a guy that's bad for bad guy's sake? I don't feel bad about kicking his ass just because he had a rough childhood. Like, 
Can we just kill him in the middle of his monologue? Do we need to hear his monologue? Well, that went over real great, didn't it? His tragic back for it just does nothing for me. <laughs> it's just tedious at this point. Just another cutscene I have to watch. I just want to beat him up. Mother, open your eyes. Mother. Mother. Okay, you don't like shake a corpse. That's just weird. Kind of mean. That's sick, eh? Hey? Something to protect, even if it costs your life. You must continue your journey. You mustn't give up now. Could you show me where your journey will take you? I'd like to see it too. The end of my own journey. Farewell. Yep, not over that easy. I will not forgive this this betrayal. What the you you're one of mine. If you don't kill them, you will live to regret it. That voice, could it be Griffin's? What's happening to him? Griffin sounds like a six year old. Flame Demon Monster Gaspard. Alright. There we go. That one is missable. And just like regular Gaspard, a total pushover with Steve's help. Just play it like Dark Souls, try and cut off his tail, and he can't hit you with like anything. One, two, three. There you go. That's it. Um, super easy, <laughs> basically. There's like nothing else to that. You just hit him with the ride pod. The, the only hard part of this entire section is making sure you take the photo of the ultimate gas bar. Because some people will play through. And I don't, I'm not saying I did this, you know, every time I ever played it. But sometimes you play through, you fight gas bar, you take a photo of him, it's nothing. And you're like, oh, okay, I guess there isn't a missable one this time. When there totally is, and I'm an idiot. Anyway... <laughs> Now we get to put him to rest in pieces. Rip in pieces, Gaspar. Rip in pieces. And for some reason he turns into magic crystals. And we get more of his tragic backstory we don't care about. Although I guess in this case it's not his tragic backstory so much as his tragic afterlife. He didn't find anything! <laughs> He's an idiot. 
He just has a sweet name and a killer awesome cape. Damn, damn, damn that Griffin. Monica. All right. It's been changing the future. Maybe something will happen. Before that, there's one thing I want to do. And that is hit picture thing. Make sure I move those three scoops. And I can delete the useless one. And I want to open up the make. Because we have some new inventions we can make. Now that we have the ultimate Gaspald, which I guess is going to be down here. There it is. Now we need the moon. Oops, where is it? I passed it. It's under T, isn't it? The moon, there we go. And we need a bone. Dun 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 Some, uh, leopard print boots that have nails on them. Kind of gross. Alright, oops, wrong button. Let's get the little go to the future cutscene. Here we are. Well, finally, Gondorada has been completely restored. All thanks to you. You're welcome. We were just doing our part. Monica. Yes? I have something I must give you. Really? What oh, is sick. It? It's 100% reward. Here. What's this? That's the sword your father, Braybrandt, left to me. He asked me to give it to you if anything should happen. Well, maybe if he'd had the stupid sword, he could have killed Gaspard. That sword is imbued with great power. A normal person could never make use of it. But with you as you are now, I'm sure you could draw out its strength. Now is the time for you to take that sword and fight alongside your father, Monica. Father! Holy data displayed. Boring. I don't think that Holy Data List Blade is actually unique. Where is it? How do I organize this again? It's been so long. Okay. Uh, I want to start with the elements at the top. Monica's swords are down here. Build up. Hmm. Maybe it is unique. But I think it still builds into the same final weapon, so we didn't need it. Um, whether or not I use it, we'll see. What's up, buddy? Okay, we have to find, uh... This is just gonna happen automatically? There we go, yeah. Pasnos. You know, the thing we were supposed to be completing. Now it's complete. Oh, man. That's Pasnos. There we go. We built it for our struggle against Griffin. It's the secret it's the of secret the secret That bit where it drops 20 frames. That was real terrible. Alright. Don't forget to get that. Ah, uh, there is... Save that in the idea book. And we want to combine it with... Alright, oh, I can use the triggers. Power arm. And the drum can. Do, 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 do. Makes a sweet hammer called the heavy hammer. And if we also combine it with, uh, down here, the figure, as well as an Iron Maiden, we get the last invention for the chapter. Do do the Ruler Sword, which is something I think we already had. Hold on, let me, I want to delete these photos. Yeah, they saved. 
keep my board clear. All right. No, stop taking. Oh my god, I don't know what my controls are anymore. It's been so. Long. It's been a while since I played Dark Cloud 2. I like stopped right before going to do the Monica thing, and then a million other things came up, and I have not touched it in a long time. Now we need to get into Pasnos because there's one photo left to take this chapter. So I think we have to run all the way around like dorks. I probably could use that teleporter now that I think about it. Or not? How do we get in? Maybe I missed something. Maybe you get on the left side or the right side or something? Maybe use the teleporter to get in? I don't think you can use a teleporter. Well, I don't think you just come in from a lower floor. That's it. not. Let's see if they use the teleporter. Move to Pasnos Bridge. Oh, look at that. I'm the smartest. Alright. Where is it? No, that's a light. That's a light again. We all. There is another picture to take. I thought it's this. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's down here. That's light. Ah, there it is. That's it. It's up there. I knew it was that. It just doesn't count on the floor, apparently. Pasnos pattern is the last thing we need. Uh, we don't need it for anything. I don't know if any it's anything at all, or just anything right now, but... That's that. So, let's finish up this chapter's cutscenes. Our country. Are you prepared? Or maybe there are cutscenes. Uh, yes, we are prepared. Yeah, there we go, there's another cutscene. All hands on deck, preparing Pesnos launch! Do, 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 do. So they let go of it all before it started launching, and it just floats there for that little bit. Just, I want to make sure that I point that out. So now we have the airship, which does nothing, but it's not a JRPG if you don't get an airship, so there we go. And take that wave of golems. You might remember this from the opening cutscene. Golems, you fought them in the mountain. They're huge. Yes, Griffin destroyed a mountain and created a whole army of golems. They're a magical force to be reckoned with. What should we do? Why do they explain this like we haven't been fighting golems in Chapter Three? Ready the weapon. Yes, sir. We don't need to shout, Captain. All right, where's our sweet low and grins? I like how Griffin waited until after the ship launched to send golems. <laughs> oh, that one golem! That one golem! Just waves his buddies. Keep going, guys! We'll just walk past them. Agaris, that was his name. We have to lure them. You're not luring them, you're just waiting. Oh, 
half the golems are just standing there watching and get shot. Bunch of idiots. Lord Agaris, Elena has arrived. I hope you weren't hurt. No, it was tough going, but the bombardment from Posno saved us. And then Max meets his mommy. Max. Mother. Oh, you've gotten so big. I'm so happy to see you again. Me too. Oh, Max and me and mommy. How's your father? Oh, he's fine. I'm sure that he wants I to. I have him living on a train. Yes. Mother? What? Can't you come back? Back to our time? Max, no, you stupid kid. Understand. She explained this already. This is the place where I have to be. I'm from this time, not yours. But even so, that's. That's. That's just selfish. So he's wanting her to come selfish. back to a different time just so you can. Be with her. If that's the case, I mean, if that's how things are, then you shouldn't have come to my time in the first place. What a petulant little child. Max, I'm sorry. No one can exist in two separate times. I mean, I think like half the cast is doing it right now, so. No? Yes, we got the word from Lunalad that Ixion was finished. We're going to write it into the distant past. And then we're going to find Griffin and do what needs to be done. I hope you will, Max. Monica, you don't want to talk with a lady. He already did. No, it's fine. I understand. Alright, so, there is one thing I need to do, and I'm just going to do it off camera, I guess, because, um, it'll be easier to keep track of. But, in the future, there are always, uh, in fact, I'm going to, like, mark off that I got my ideas and scoops here, too. Got all my scoops, got all my ideas, I did show off all the inventions, we didn't recruit the recruitable character for the chapter because I didn't win the Finny Frenzy. Speaking of which, let's feed my fish. Where's my aquarium? Uh, a few fish parameters. 6, 13, 8, 16, 13. What have I been feeding it? I don't even remember half the shit. Feed fish, here you go. Okay, well it's endurance is 17 now. Um, okay, in the future, every time you clear a map of the dungeon, or certain maps of the dungeon, you unlock the potato pie, fruit of Eden, which parfait stuff in the future. I haven't picked up any of it in this time yet, so, um, I need to go do that. I have a list of where they all are. The problem is that this place is so huge, it may take me a while to, like, find them all. I don't want to sit here... Silently going, oh, there's this one, oh, so I'm just gonna do that off camera. So, uh, th that's gonna be it for chapter three. So, next time, or chapter three, why do I keep saying this chapter three? It's like chapter five or something, isn't it? Whatever. Anyway, um, so the only things we didn't do is I didn't get the bomber head boom scoop, I didn't recruit a Livy, and I'm gonna go off camera and get all the, uh, potato pies, fruits of Eden, witch parfaits, all that stuff. And then we'll come back and we'll head to Luna Labs next time to get on the Ixion. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button, show your support. It helps a whole lot. And if you want to see more from the channel, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.